You might remember in our last episode, we made this wonderful contraption right here. It is amazing, honestly. It's one of the best things of this whole construction right here. And I really wanted to make this a lot longer in my original plan. This was supposed to be like the long alleyway of just these going back and forth, but I couldn't send the minecart forward again and again and again without having like water involved. And that is really slow. So I didn't want to do that. So I had to cut it short. But in this video, I can make it as long as I want. We're gonna make a whole grand hall with these going up on the top of it, and it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be the best thing in Minecraft ever. Okay, that might be overselling it, but still, it's gonna be really cool. And there are a lot of improvements that we can make with this design. The first thing I would like to improve is push these closer together. Instead of having three here, we have six. That's gonna double our numbers, which is gonna be awesome. So let's get into it. All right, this is the basic form of it. You just have to stand in between these two blocks so you touch the pressure plate at the same time you're on the slime block. So let's just scoot over and there we go. Yep, this one has a little bit of delay on it, just one tick, and then it goes up, boom, shoots you out. The reason why we use furnaces is because they are immovable blocks. They will never move by a piston or sticky. See, that will move. Iron will move, but furnace will not move. The only thing is, if we tile them next to each other, um, yeah, that's gonna happen. And we don't want that. Maybe three, three shouldn't, yeah. Does that affect here? Okay, it should be fine. The only problem would be if these both extend, then these would touch together and stick together and that would be a mess. So as long as we get the timings right, we should be okay. Okay, so time to build them. So let's get these two constructed and their partners and give it a try. So I guess now what we gotta do is build the rest of it. We just got them all in, so all we have to do now is put the minecarts on them. That should be simple, right? All right, here's how we gotta do it. We gotta put some blocks on the side and then we have to put a fence right here so that the minecart will hit that and go over half of the block so it sits on two blocks instead of one, just like that. So once we break this, it'll start going back and forth, but we have to get this out of the way. There we go. I'll just get them all in place and then we'll break the glass all at once. That should be, that should be something right there. Well, this is going to be pretty tedious, but it has to be done. Got kind of a rhythm down, so it makes it a little easier to do this. So you just go boom, boom, put one there, there, and there. Okay, there we are. The top row is all in. So we just have to get this bottom section in and then it'll work, hopefully. Yeah, it'll work, it'll work. On most of them, I left the rails here so they shouldn't be knocked very easily. But once we destroy all those blocks, the rails are just gonna pop off anyway. So got kind of a rhythm down, you know? Makes things a lot easier when you just kind of do things without thinking about them. All right, that means they're all in, ready to go. All we have to do is remove the blocks underneath them and it should be a show. Here we go. Hopefully this doesn't destroy the mine carts. It didn't. Okay, we're good. Wing it and hope for the best. All right, hopefully they drop down and everything goes all right. Here we go. Oh, I didn't think about the rails are an item. So when it hits, oh, the rails could, oh. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen. The rails could turn into an item and then hit the pressure plate which could freeze everything up and not not be good. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen. It happened. Oh no. Everything is just awful. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh man, oh no. Oh, I see what happened, oh. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, so what happened was the rails that were on top of the blocks here, like this, when I got rid of them, they popped off. Some of them fell onto here, like that, which triggered it. And since these are sitting right next to the slime blocks, they moved the bottom carts too, which I was not expecting. So, yeah, not good. Not good. Oh man, that's such a mess. Well, that was a mess. All right, so I have this command that just spawns the villagers in the minecart in right on the pad that they're supposed to be. Because if they're 
if they're one pixel off, if, if one pixel is hanging over the edge here, it messes the whole thing up. So it's pretty delicate, but that's okay because commands are very precise. The top ones have to fire at one time and the bottom ones have to fire at one time, but they have to be on different sides at that time. So if that doesn't happen, the whole thing gets messed up. You can hide, but you can't run. Wait, it's the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> all right, this should be the last one. There we are. So they're all in. Okay, when I press this button, it should, everything should just go into place and be all right. And it should be the greatest thing ever seen. In three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, why is that guy not jumping? Oh no, that could ruin it. Um. Oh, there he goes. Oh no, that one got messed up. Oh shoot. What? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, it's messing up big time. Oh no, oh no. Well, if you look at just this part, it looks amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that would be so awesome if it was all working. Oh man. <sighs> I guess there's no other way to do this. I'm gonna test each one of these just to make sure that nothing else goes wrong. So I think I got all the kinks worked out, but you never know. Okay, they all work. Successfully tested every single one of them. So now we just have to get the villagers back in place. Oh no, not 76, no, 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 you ruined it all. If this somehow goes wrong, okay, let's just hope this, this works. Let's just hope it works and give it a shot. All right, counting down in three, two, one. Oh. oh, it looks like it works. Yes. Oh. oh, good. Oh, man. Oh, man, it looks good. It looks really good. Oh, man. If you had this in your base, you would impress anyone. Look at that. Oh, man. It's beautiful. Oh, no. I should have done that before I started. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, well, there's no way to turn it off. All right? It's just, it, it just goes. It just goes forever which is what you want. You definitely want this to go forever. Let's just decorate it, make it look pretty. And I'm sure no one will mind the extra lag that it's creating. It's, it's, it's so glorious, you know, there is a price to pay. You got a little bit of lag, but that's, that's a small price to pay for something like this. I mean, it'll impress anyone. Literally, the dedication to getting the villagers and the minecarts alone is just impressive. If this was your trading hall, Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Oh, I almost, I almost, I almost ruined it. I'm scared of bumping my head on a minecart while I'm building this. That would be the worst. All right, I think we finished it. I think it looks pretty good, pretty grand if you ask me. We got that line that just goes on forever with the minecarts, with the villagers going back and forth. And the design, um, I'm not really a builder, but it looks pretty good for what it is. So yeah, if you did this in your base with the villagers, anyone would be impressed honestly it's just kind of a big blob of black concrete black concrete is pretty cool because it doesn't it doesn't show any light it doesn't have any texture at all so you can't really tell like if i place some blocks down here you can't even tell i placed them unless you look at the silhouette right here i'm pretty happy with this it was a challenge trying to get everything in tune right but in the end it looks amazing so totally worth it but looks like that's gonna do it for today so i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you in the next one see ya